Hey ya peeps and welcome to the channel. There's two quick things that I want to dive into for today's video about Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. One of them is something new, and the other one is regarding something that I said in the last video. If you haven't seen that one, you can watch that one here. But as for now, we've got some really good news for most, and some reasonable bad news for some. So let's get into it. Okay, first up, the good cool news is that the game will be released with a free to play light version that will allow you to download it and play the first three levels of the game solo or online with people. Also, if you're playing together with someone that owns the full game, then you can play up to 13 of the game's dungeons together. And if you love the game, which I'm sure you will, if you choose to buy the game to really get the most out of the adventure, you'll be able to carry over your saved data to enjoy the full game. So I've got to say, that's one hell of an incentive to really give this game a try if he was on the fence previously. Okay, you got all that? Alright, now let's move on from the good news, since that's out, into the bad, yet still understandable why some people will be upset about this news. Unlike what I previously reported on, it looks like local multiplayer isn't actually going to be in this game due to problems with development as said by the team themselves. Well, I can imagine this is a bummer to those people who were really looking forward to running this game again like the good old days with some friends or possibly introducing some family members or someone else that's new to it through couch co-op, but I would like for you to consider something. Just, just two important things, hear me out. If you was fortunate enough to play co-op on the original game, then you would remember having to micromanage your character on the fly through the screen on the Game Boy Advance. While this did mean you needed to get used to navigating the menu just in case you needed to make some hasty decisions and changes during combat, it also meant that you would never have to worry about interrupting your friends while playing, since unlike single player, you don't have to worry about a menu taking up the entirety of the screen. The second thing to consider is the times we're in. At the moment, for now, everything we're dealing with, most likely you're not gonna be hanging out with anyone or too many people. If you choose to do so, then, well, be safe about it, of course, but at least there's still ways to play this game together and take your caravan from start to end, mind you, with crossplay as well. So, that switch to PS4, Android to iOS, and all around the 4. I mean, that's, that's so freaking cool. You can play this game with literally anyone, anywhere. You know, can't take the PS4 everywhere, but you get my point. Overall, I mean, there's finally a way to easily experience this game for what it was trying to bring up before, you know, so don't get me wrong, I'm all for more features, and I would love for them to, maybe if they have the time, if, if people buy this game, right, if they buy this game and they see that there's love and attention for it, then maybe they can come out with some big patch and update the game and add that local multiplayer back in, that's, maybe that's, maybe it's a pipe dream. You know, maybe something that could happen, will they do it? I don't know, but I still think that there's a bigger reason to support this game. If you really like the original version, then support this game. I really think that people should give it a chance. With that being said, why don't you share how you feel about this news? Happy about the light version? Is the lack of local multiplayer making you sad and possibly giving you second thoughts? Well, hey, let's chat about it together in the comments, and consider leaving a like if you enjoy the video, and subscribe for all things Bear Boy. And if you're feeling even more generous, consider joining my Patreon today to support the channel's further growth, like these bad peeps below. Not only does every dollar that you put towards the channel have something to gain in it for you, it also goes towards making bigger and better content for, well, also you, so it's kind of a win-win. But hey, think on it. For now, Thanks for staying this long to the end of the video, I'm sure I've rambled on long enough, so I'll catch you around in the next video I'm working on. Laters.